Hi, this is Nick from graphicdesignemployment.com and this is a video showing how I have come to use Procreate in uh, various graphic design and website design projects. A few years ago, a client of ours, a yacht club, asked us to uh, produce a painting of the club for the cover of their annual magazine. Um, what I came up with was uh, an acrylic painting. I, I'm by no means a professional artist, strictly amateur, but I thought I could probably do this justice. But a few years later, uh, the pontoons had changed configuration and the club asked us to do something else. And at this point, I'd, I'd got a uh, iPad Pro and this, this was the result of um, a painting I made with Procreate. Now, what, it really came about by accident. I hadn't even considered using Procreate as an artistic uh, tool, more as um, just uh, something to play around with. But actually, I've found it incredibly useful in a lot of my graphic design projects. Now, with Procreate, this, this was one of the very first pictures I did, and all of my Procreate uh, paintings, um, digital paintings, obviously, start off in the same way that I would approach um, any traditional painting using acrylics or watercolour or even oil. I will always start with a pencil sketch and Procreate has these great uh, pencil brushes um, in its palette. It makes great use of layers. Um, every uh, pencil sketch, every inking, all the painting, they all go on different layers and I can always go back and, and chop and change, which of course you can't, just can't do with uh, acrylic. So this, this was my process. I started off with a pencil sketch and then inked everything in and then blocked out the color and uh, once I've got the sort of broad brush look and feel sorted out, uh, I started on the detail and this is really where it came into its own. Uh, you can zoom right in to um, the detail, you can, you can uh, add as much detail as you like, but more importantly you've got an undo button which you just don't have when you're painting uh, on a canvas and undo is an absolute lifesaver because uh, obviously you can just go back and ch chop and change and my, my style is very uh, loose and rough I tend to uh, stop before it's finished you know if I feel like it's come to a point where I'm happy with it um, I'll just leave the background and that's that's not necessarily the best way to approach it but uh, that's just me but the, the finished result uh, certainly seemed to um, work out very well. Procreate um, has a nice high resolution uh, option for painting so I'll, I work in the highest resolution possible and, uh, and then simply export it uh, as a JPEG, uh, convert it to CMYK 300 DPI and this was on the cover of um, an A4 magazine and it uh, worked out very well. The finished result uh, of this painting, um, I, I was pretty happy with it, but uh, I'm aware that the, the, there are a lot of things I could have done differently, done better, but this is this is just to give you an idea of um, what can be achieved, um, you know, if, if you're not a, a great artist, you know, and I, I really don't think I am, I, I'm just very much uh, an amateur, but I managed to get a level of detail on this that um, I just would never have been able to do using uh, traditional methods. Uh, one of the owners of this yacht, these yachts in, in the foreground um, saw the cover actually and, uh, and bought a print of this for his boat so uh, it uh, was a double bubble which is always nice. Now the flashes you occasionally see of um, brush strokes appearing and then suddenly disappearing are me turning the layers on and off again. This is obviously a, a time lapse. Um, and uh, this, this is another great feature of Procreate. You can hide stuff, reveal stuff, remove stuff, 
um, and uh, you just uh, until you work on it until you're completely happy with the result. Having seen what's really possible um, with Procreate, I wanted to see if I could use it uh, for other projects. Also, I wanted to use it in logo design, um, and I got the opportunity with um, another local client, a restaurant, and they were very specific about the kind of illustration they wanted for the logo. Uh, I, again, I started off very rough, um, and then I inked in uh, the outlines, blocked in the color. Now, it isn't a vector graphic, uh, the end of it, but it was a very easy thing to cut out. Here's another one uh, that I created for uh, Chessel Avenue in uh, Southampton, another client, and this just shows how you can cheat. You just trace over the top of it and create um, a nice little illustration as a, for the sidebar of a website. And that was just traced straight over a photo. It was really, really handy tool. And yet another one, this is uh, St Thomas's Church in Lymington that I just wanted to liven the page up with, because, uh, our about page. Um, on our tinstar.co.uk website which um, gave a little more sense of uh, the area where we're from um, and it's it's great fun to do and it's it's quick uh, and these are just other projects that I, I worked on this was for a, a children's book um, very straightforward and it's great fun to use uh, so I can really recommend uh, Procreate to everyone not just um, artists but for complete amateurs like me um, I found that I could get results with it that I never would have managed to do using tra traditional methods so have fun thanks for watching